Hola, hello everyone. Welcome world. This is Jackie Bouvier and I'm super excited to share with you Voces Poderosas 2023 and I have here Lily Gil Valeta, Chief Executive, Cultural Intelligence Expert and she has so much more under her belt that I want her to explain to everyone who she is. But today, I'm just excited to tell you that she's one of the 101 most influential Latinas in the world. Can you imagine how I feel? I feel giddy right now just having her up there. <laughs> it's so amazing. She's a strong voice, an influential business leader. You know, one of her quotes is, let love and purpose for your idea drive you. Quoted from Forbes, Lily, you're just amazing. <laughs> Honestly, Lily, a humble woman who can't be shaken as you continue to scale and achieve so much success, you just remain humble and so authentic to your values, Lily. I truly admire you for that. You're a cultural intelligence expert, not a, you are the cultural intelligence expert. <laughs> and that makes me so proud and happy. Please, an honor to have you on my Voces Poderosas series. And honestly, I can't thank you enough. And I just want to say thank you for saying yes. You're a powerful influencer with so much to give to many Latinos who look up to you. Thank you for allowing me to help spread your wealth and knowledge and expertise to the world. So who are you, Lili? What is your story? What does Hispanic Heritage Month mean to you and your culture, of course, because people need to know out there that all Hispanic cultures are not the same. They're all different. So Lili, tell me about yourself. Welcome. Thank you so much, Jackie. Thank you for elevating our voices. That is much, much needed, not just during Hispanic Heritage Month, but every month of the year. Um, you're asking me the biggest, most fundamental question. Who are you? And I guess I'm going to give you an answer that is not the typical one, and it should apply to everybody. We are not our title, and we are not our job. There is something bigger and more profound in the essence of our humanity that makes us us. So in my case, I am proudly a daughter, a mother, a wife, a friend, and yes, a business owner too. But all of those things at the beginning, honestly, is the passion and purpose that moves me to keep doing what I do every day, to find the energy to do it when it doesn't feel good or when challenge strikes. So I guess that in itself kind of embodies the resilience that many of us as Latinos have. I know you asked me also, who are you and what does culture and Hispanic Heritage Month mean to me? Well, as an immigrant from Colombia that came to this country literally with a suitcase and a student visa in my hand without speaking a word of English at the age of 17, I have never, ever, ever forgotten where I come from. And in not forgetting where I come from, I find it as an inspiration and responsibility to be an ambassador, not just for my country, because when I landed in Texas as my first American home, I had to explain that not all people that speak Spanish are Mexican and that I happen to be Colombian and many didn't understand that. But even beyond that is the fact that in, in that journey and that resilience as a culture, we are unified by our love for our values by the respect we have for our heritage and those that came before us, and also the great responsibility, yet again, that we have to each other as a community to lift up the value and the voice and, and the authentic heritage that makes us who we are, unapologetically. So I guess, uh, yes, am I a business owner? Am I the CEO of a fast-growing global company? Sure. But all that other stuff is more interesting and quite honestly, the heart behind the why I even do what I do every day. That's amazing. Thank you so much. You're just amazing. <laughs> and what can you share, Lily? What can you share as a professional in your industry or experience to help positively encourage, empower, or shed the light on other professional Latinos that are looking up to you? Yeah. So, you know, I have one of those uh, great privileges uh, to be doing as my quote unquote job or my firm, right? Uh, Culture Plus Group, for those that may not know, has grown into a conglomerate of companies. So we are four business units that offer research, business strategy, marketing and media solutions for big corporations that want to reach diverse communities. So where I'm going with that whole, you know, big description of who we are is because what I do every day happens to be the purpose of 
of, of why I feel uh, there's an opportunity as a Latina and a Latina voice in the business world to do what I do and say what I say today. So in a way, I get paid to live out my purpose. <laughs> but don't get discouraged if, if some of you maybe are in different industries and you feel like, oh my gosh, I am the one and only Latino professional in whatever company or industry that you're in. Well, turn that into a superpower. Because if we believe the numbers, Jackie, which again, numbers are numbers, opinion is cheap, numbers are numbers. And we Hispanics in the United States are driving more than 60% of the population growth. We are the fifth largest economy in the world. If we were to measure the U.S. Uh, Hispanic GDP on its, on its own, then that is very far from being small and niche. That is powerful that is the new mainstream. And what we need to do as Hispanic professionals, first and foremost, is recognize that if you have an accent, it's not a handicap, it's an advantage because that means you're bilingual. That if you understand the culture and honor it and still treasure and preserve it, you are pressure, treasuring and preserving the very culture that is shaping the mainstream of America, period. And that as we keep on growing as a community, Regardless of the type of job that you have or do, each and every one of us have a responsibility to be an ambassador to that powerful story of the numbers and the size and the influence we represent in the circles that we get to be part of. So you don't have to be on a big stage or like you, Jackie, with a podcast to be able to hold the microphone, the proverbial microphone around your friends in the neighborhood where you live or in the school board meeting that you happen to go for your kid's school, or at your local church, or at your local community volunteering work, et cetera, et cetera. So my advice really to Hispanic professionals is to own up to the power and value in numbers that we represent and never ever miss a chance to be an ambassador for what that is and what that means. So there you have it. Staying authentic is powerful because the numbers are on our side. That's awesome. Thank you, Lily. Thank you so much. I love that you said podcast, but I'm just out here trying to bring the light to amazing human beings like yourself. And yes. this is awesome. <laughs> and uh, remember that what you share, Lily, is will, will just it will tremendously inspire and help some someone out there, someone who's desperately needing this advice, this information from someone who's done so much. And I know you're very humble about all this, but we truly appreciate you because your voice is powerful and you make a difference and you are one of our voces poderosas in the nation. And if not, you know, in the whole entire world. And I truly appreciate this. Thank you, Lily, for your time. Thank you. I know you're busy and thank you for being here and, and for just sharing this with all of our network. Absolutely, Jackie. And maybe a uh, final word for everybody out there, you know, celebrate la cultura, you know, the, the, just dare to expose people to things and areas of who we are that maybe they've never seen before. Seriously, there is so much power. And guess what? We are the ones that are driving the top charts in music and in entertainment and even movies right now. Um, yes. You know, everything from Blue Beetle to Sound of Freedom, those are Latino productions that, that are shaping everyone's you know, likings and, and tapestry of culture in America. So we are all part of that. So I invite you to carry that proudly, not just this month, but every single month. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for your time. And you heard her, let's just get out there, not only during Hispanic Heritage Month, but every single month of the year. Thank you, Lily, for your time. Gracias. Yes.